what's up y'all um so today is wednesday and i thought uh i should show you how to create an eight bit linear uh synth that you can choose to use in a lot of trap uh dubstep all different types of genres it's a great tool to have and i want you guys to listen to an example of it so i'll play that for you right now So if I dive into the synth a bit. It's a very gritty growl. So I'm gonna show you how to create this. So you can use growls not just for dubstep, but you can also use it on a lot of interesting uh, electronic dance music or anything. So. I'm going to show you how to create that right now. Right click, create a combinator. We're going to create a instance of Maelstrom in here. So make sure it's an initialized patch. Uh, right off the bat, turn up the poly polyphony to tw uh, 12 and the range to 12. Turn up uh, the portamento to 63. Take the shift all the way down, the index all the way up. For our first oscillator, we're going to, I'm sorry, for, yeah, for our first oscillator, we're going to choose a Jews ARP. Take it down an octave and turn up the motion a bit, so about 20 or 18. That's good. For our second oscillator, we're going to also change this to uh, Jews harp. We're going to take the shift to about negative uh, 40. Take the motion to about 20 and take it down an octave. For our modulator A, we're going to go to curve 20. We're going to set the rate to about um, 88 or so. Turn the index up a bit, so about 12. And uh, take off modulator B. We don't really need it. For, and make sure to turn on this little button that runs to shaver. Take off filter B, make sure our button is inputted. Take our filter B resonance and take it to 106. And for our filter A, we're going to take that off as well. And we're going to change it to a negative combinator. Uh, yeah, negative combinator should work. Okay, so now that we have created our patch, we're going to right click and create an RV7000. Take the dry wet to about a quarter, so 22. Same thing for the decay, 21 should be fine. After this, we're going to create a line six base amp. Make sure to turn on the compressor. That's all we really need it for. After this, right click, create a screen four distortion unit. We're going to turn it to digital. Make sure the damage is on 40. Turn P1 all the way up and P2 about to the fifth uh, quarter, if you can see it. Uh, that's all we'll, we're going to need that for. After this, we're going to create a utility and CV merger and splitter. Flip open to the back, make sure it's not routed, or you can hold shift when creating this. After this, we're going to create a alligator. So, alligator filter. We're going to take split one, and we're going to take it from uh, auto CV out. And for the rest that goes into A, just take it to gate one, two, and three. Make sure you don't get the inverted signal. That's not what we want. Make sure the pattern is turned off, and the pattern number to 38. There we go. Now, uh, we also want to take up the amp a bit and the decay, I'm sorry, release a little bit more. Change the LFO to a down signal or decay. Turn up the frequency to 1 16th. 
uh, have the filter envelope all the way down for the attack, the decay a little bit more, so about 68%, and the release a little bit more. On this, we want our delay to be about 1 8 Our feedback and pan can stay where they are. For our phaser, we're actually going to turn up the feedback all the way and make it a solid quarter or 17%. Uh, for our filter 1, 2, and 3, our high pass, band pass, and low pass, we're going to turn the LFO amount to all the way. We're going to turn up our high pass frequency to about 188 kilohertz and our low pass frequency to about 2.12. We're going to turn up our high pass resonance to about a quarter each. And we're going to take each envelope amount to about 20, negative 20 to 28 percent. Okay, we're going to turn up the drive to about a quarter on each of our filters. We're going to, for our phaser, on our very low pass, we're going to change it to about 14 percent and for the delay as well. For our dry signal, we're going to turn ducking all the way and our volume to about 74 percent or 73. Take our master volume down to about 28 percent and then after this create a MC class equalizer, our MC class maximizer, and our line 6 base amp. So for our, we're, I'm sorry, for our equalizer we're going to turn on low cut past 30 hertz and for parameter 1 take about uh, 187 hertz, take the gain down to negative 18.3, our Q to the maximum, we're going to do the same thing except for the frequency, we're going to take that to 3.1 kilohertz gain down Q all the way up high shelf frequency take it to as low as it go turn it to about 1.7 decibels and take off most of our Q so that's 0.5 or as low as it will possibly go for our maximizer turn on soft clip take it to 127 take release to auto and take off limiter and then just turn on the compressor now if we have a listen <laughs> That's pretty damn close. So, uh, we have our synth. But, I'm going to show you a little bit more programming. So, go in the devices, sh hit uh, show programmer. We're going to go to our scream for distortion unit. Go to rotary 1. Go to parameter 2. So for a rotary run, rotary one, we're going to uh, change this as bit crush uh, depth. Now, if we have a listen, so now we have successfully created the eight bit patch. So if you guys want to know anything for Friday, please leave me in the comments, send me a message, any way you can, and I'll upload this patch. Just one comment or even a space for a comment and I'll upload this patch. Anyways, um, for Friday, I wanted to let you guys know that I'll be showing you good examples of trap mix, um, what is a bad example, how to clean up your mix a bit, um, just tech tips on this very specific genre because uh, Floss, uh, Flodomus is uh, blown up the scene with Trap. So I thought I would show you how to make your own version of Trap, what are some good scents to use, what not to do, even stuff w that involves nothing to do with the genre, you can still add it in with the genre. So, I just wanted to let you guys know, for Friday, we're going to be uh, studying the genre of trap and good and bad instances of it. What you should and should not do. So, uh, that's it for Wednesday. Have a great crazy day. Eat a salad, stay healthy, um, and skate.